Big baby, we are back again. And today we're gonna to take another look at Tabletop Beard and everything that they have new, including this good looking new art and scent right here called Commander. Yes, that is a collaboration with myself, very excited. Equally excited, we have four new scents to talk about that are all essential oils. We got a couple of other things to talk about, you know, so we got some good stuff going on today. If you guys are excited, real quick, yeah, hit that like button, aka the thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. To begin, this is an affiliate of mine. Very proud to partner with this company. I helped them before they launched. I helped them with their launch and since. Absolutely amazing people. We have an original review if you want to go check that out. But they're from the USA. They're in the Pacific Northwest. It's three brothers working together, killing it with a kind of tabletop game theme to it. Right? You got different stuff that come in with really cool little add-ons. You also have the stickers. Just great touches that affiliate code you guys is dan c20 it's going to save you guys 20 percent. it supports the channel it supports this company it's a win all absolutely love the products the customer service and where this company is going if you guys have tried them pause the video real quick it's a quick little favor drop a comment down below with any and all experiences how were the products were they for you was it not your thing customer service quality all that Please put some info down below if you guys don't mind. So let's get into it. First thing, let's go ahead and cover the collaboration called The Commander. Now I have this right now in butter, oil, and wash. Boom! They just recently launched their wash, you guys, and it is in The Commander scent. So to break it down, guys, for the scent profile here, uh, first let me give you the carrier, since the carrier blend is going to be the same for all of the oils here. And listen to how awesome this is. Medium viscosity, meadow foam seed oil, rose hip, golden jojoba, argan, avocado, sunflower and then your essential oil blend they do have fragrances as well if you're looking for something a little bit stronger something really layered and complex check out their other options that they have but that medium blend is fantastic I've covered every single one of these oils on my on the channel on the carry oils 101 series beautiful golden blend here absolutely amazing top-notch artwork Let's get into the Commander collaboration. The scent profile on this one. Now, I know a lot of you know me very well. And you're like, all right, it's going to be mint or it's going to be citrus. That's Dan's wheelhouse. This one is a little bit outside of my norm. Absolutely blown away. Never in a million years on paper would I think I would like this scent profile. But it's so good. I put my likeness to it. I put my name to it. It even has on here on the wash, if you see right where, where my finger's at there, the stay bearded and stay positive. That's how much I love and I'm addicted to this scent. Are you ready? The scent profile is sandalwood, tea tree, and patchouli. Okay, all right, let's break it down. Number one, all essential oils. I believe myself and many of you have made thoughts about different scents or smells based on a fragrant oil version of that, a synthetic fragrance. For example, for years I hated sandalwood. I just didn't like it at all. For years even more so hated patchouli. Until I started to experience the different essential oil options and I'm like, huh, not so bad. This blend came together, and obviously I love tea tree. Massive fan of tea tree. And this is hard to explain for me. It's kind of like a little bit of a masculine floral calming scent. That tea tree comes through strong. You get the earthiness of the patchouli, and you get a little bit of a zip from the sandalwood. It's a little bit spicy of a wood for me in this essential oil. The best way I could describe, if you have tried this, even the company, leave a comment down below because I want to get feedback. This is one of the most like enticing, questioning, like what is going on, but I love it since I've ever tried. Ah, man, it's a, a manly floral cologne, but in a natural world. One more time. A manly floral cologne, but in a natural world. Please do not judge this based on the scents that are in it. It is something that's amazing. If you align at all with my scent preferences, I know you're going to like this. And if you don't, and usually we're opposites, this might be the bridge that brings us all together. Give it a try, you guys. If you do, let me know your thoughts down below. Now, let's break it down. And their oil is, oh my gosh, at, we're going to talk about more and more of this. Uh, show you, this I believe is my third bottle of this oil right here. 
which I'll show you guys in a little bit. It, it's, I have a new one ready to go, but I was like, let me show them how much I use. Like, it's so good. It styles so well. It feels amazing. Check, check, check all the above. Their wash is new to me and I love it. It's a daily gentle wash. It's going to get the job done. Now, there are some washes out there. And this could be entirely based on my water table that I don't have a ton of control over, but also my DNA, my genetics, I have no control over. Some washes will work to clean my beard, but then afterwards it just styles like crap. Some of them make it feel like crap, and I know they're quality washes. I know they're good products, just something doesn't work with me. So washes, I'm always like, oh, you know, this one, awesome. Feels great, works very well. Nothing like revolutionary or crazy to point out. It just gets the job done in a great way. Their butter is a very light, very nourishing, easy to melt down butter. This is not gonna be a butter. That's gonna be a firm hold or something that is gonna give you a little bit of like control and styling. This is a nourishing, very smooth butter. Love, love, love. So yeah, guys, give it a shot here. We even have stickers of this collaboration. You can see how cool that is. Essentially, it's like a Dungeons and Dragons character and this one would be the commander using my likeness and kind of that history teacher type vibe to it. I think it's cool. It's an absolute honor. Uh, something else that's new to me from this company is they do have an unscented. I believe this is the first time I've gotten their unscented and it's called the Game Master. So if you're looking for that blend and you're like, I don't want essential oils, I don't want fragrance oils, I just want the, the carriers, the Game Master is going to be a great option for you. And they do have samples, you guys. Take a look at this bad boy. I haven't even opened it. I'll probably keep this one for as long as I can. Uh, the Commander. Look at the art. Look at the label on this bad boy. This is good for almost exactly two uses for me. Now, in any time that I do a collaboration or I help create scents, I always do testers first. So I've had lots of these ones, you guys. And uh, yeah, it's about two uses for me if you get an idea of my beard compared to yours. All right, moving on here to the last kind of main things that we're going to talk about on on the stream on the stream. This one's a video on the video today, and that would be their essential oil line. They have these equinox and solstice scents based on the different seasons. The first one I want to start off with is an utter. I, I don't know if it's an addiction. I don't know if it's a craving. I don't know if it's just a love and passion. But that would be the winter solstice. Now, those of you that watch my live streams and hang out on the channel and check my socials, this is not a shocker to you. You know how much I love this one. The scent profile on this one, winter mint and pine. Winter mint and pine. I was not super aware of winter mint. Dan, you love mint. Dan, you do this for a career. I know. I just didn't really know much about it. It's nice. It's not peppermint. It's not spearmint. Love both of those, but it's just something a little bit different. In the best way, oh man, I don't even know how to describe this. The best way possible is think about the like greatest mint smell you've ever had from gum, all right? Or the greatest mint smell you've ever had from toothpaste. And then make that all natural. Take out anything that you would associate with gum, anything you would associate with toothpaste and just the essence of the smell. What's left over, that's what this is here, you guys. It's purely refreshing. Uh, that pine in there gives it a little bit of a zip, a little bit of a bite, but it's just, ah, it, I don't know how to explain it other than it just calms my day. It's such an amazing scent. I will use bottle after bottle after bottle of this. If it was between my collab and the winter solstice, I don't know which one I would keep. The collab is different. It's outside of my comfort zone, but it's addicting and I will use it on date nights. I'll use it on different occasions. I could wear the winter solstice every single day, legitimately every single day. My collab is a once in a while one with a, again, I'm going to crave it. I'm going to love it. It's going to be a special day. The winter solstice is just so clean, just right here. So I got that one out of the way, but the one that's actually dropping at the time of this video or very near around this time would be the new one. And that would be the summer solstice. Of course, we'll go over the other ones here, but look how cool that art is, you guys. And I do have a live stream where I had all three owners on my channel very recently. So on YouTube where you see like videos and playlists kind of up at the top, go scroll over to where it says live. There is a community part too. Don't, don't sleep on that community part. I put in different polls and fun things, but go to where it says live, scroll down. You'll find the commander art on a live stream. You can hear from the owners themselves. You can get to know them yourselves 
pretty cool opportunity to learn about a company. All right, but let me hit you with the profile on the all natural essential oil, uh, summer solstice. And this one is summer citrus. That's all they give us on here is summer citrus. Now for me, this, you guys know, I love citrus. So this is a banger. I do get a little spice in there. I don't know if it's in the clove family, but it's so subtle. I'm not a big fan of spice, but it's so subtle that it, it does not take away from the citrus, especially once you get it in beard and you go out in the wind, ah, you just get that nice citrus scent. Mm, and I don't even know which ones I'm picking up in here. There's lime for sure. There's probably bergamot in there. And then I would guess some orange. It's just essential oil citrus. Now, what do I mean by that? And why do I like really emphasize essential oil? It's not going to smell like cough syrup. It's not going to be something that smells like candy or lip gloss or any of that stuff. It's real. It's from the source, from the actual citrus itself. Really nice addition to the lineup for summer. And then from there, let's just go with the one I have next in hand. And that would be the spring equinox. Show you guys some of the art on this bad boy. Really beautiful art with what they do here. And this one is spring rose, spring rose. Now this is a floral scent, right? The commander is more masculine. This one is, I would call kind of like a unisex floral. And I've been calling for floral scents. I like them a lot. A lot of you like them. And if you look at the landscape of quality companies out there, there's not a lot of true floral scents. Now I hope that's just because it hasn't been crossed yet. I hope it's not because the market's like, we don't like floral. If you can do an additional comment down below, do you like floral scents? Because I sure as heck do. This one is very nice, but it is floral. I mean, you smell rose, you smell like actual kind of flower petals in there. Very relaxing. I can go to bed with this one very easily. And then the last one is the autumn solstice. Let me show you guys on this bad boy here. And I love their use of gold. I love their black lettering. It looks very, very, very nice. This one is Spiced Autumn Coffee. Spiced Autumn Coffee. And it is. It's a coffee scent. There is a little bit of that spice in there. It kind of makes me think of, of Christmas, which is a little bit odd when this one's autumn, but that's kind of what I get. This one's not for me. I've probably worn this one two or three times. Uh, it's not something that will work its way into my rotation. However, some of you are like spice, coffee. Dan doesn't like it that much. You're speaking my language. Hey, this is all you, my man. You got that. Definitely a spiced coffee in a way that I haven't smelled before, which is really cool. And again, especially being all natural. All right. I think I covered everything. I felt like there was a lot, but I think we were kind of efficient today. So I'm like, what's left over other than to wrap it up. Let me know your questions. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're watching this and you have tried any of these products, it would go a long way to sharing with these consumers that are like, Hmm, should I spend my hard earned money? Should I take a chance or not? Your feedback is going to help them just as much or more than my feedback. And again, feel free to be completely honest and open. If you rave and praise a company, I'm going to believe it's honest. If you say it's not for you, I'm also going to believe it's honest. That's nothing but respect. Thank you guys for watching today. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Please stay bearded and stay positive.